Chris Lee, the studio head for Halo Infinite, has just left the project and why this is such earth shattering news. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Chris Lee was the person who oversaw everything involving Halo Infinite. He was the captain driving the ship right there, and he has recently just left Halo Infinite's production. This has me crazy concerned now about Halo Infinite's development and how things are going over at 343. Seems like it's just one bad news hit after the other. But how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. Today we're talking about this. Guys, I am super concerned about this. We you like these kind of news and information videos please make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video get into youtube algorithms so more people get a chance to stay up to date with everything going on with halo so this news just came out as the time of recording this video about 10 minutes ago or something like that this is earth shattering news but chris lee who is the guy who oversaw the production of halo infinite like i said he was the captain driving the ship right here and just in recent news saying he uh has left the project um i am just shocked and when i saw this my jaw dropped and now just like after hearing the halo infinite coding situation that that's been a, just an issue within the halo community this is a, an issue just with halo infinite overall and this is gonna be sh sending out shockwaves between uh, the news cycle when it comes to halo infinite chris lee is quoted here saying i have stepped back from halo infinite and i'm looking at future opportunities i believe in the team and am confident they will deliver a great game and now is a good time for me to step away we all know that halo infinite was supposed to be the console seller the launch title the big thing that was going to sell the xbox series x to get people to jump on and play this was halo's time to shine and we missed that deadline of november 10th for the release day of halo infinite and you know when it comes to businesses if you miss deadlines there are consequences and it seems like this might be that consequence of halo infinite not being able to manage everything properly to meet that proper deadline yes obviously covid hit that was a massive hit to the company that's the what the main thing that they cited when it comes to the reason why of the delay i mean especially with the last year of development it's the most crucial time and to have a pandemic hit make everyone move from the office to work from home they probably lost a good month or two, maybe even three when it comes to productive work, when it comes to adding everything they need to add into Halo Infinite. So I'm sure there were some circumstances out of their hands that you just could not predict, but you know what? Deadlines are deadlines and Halo Infinite was supposed to be the main console seller for the Xbox Series X and ever since the announcement of the delay, people have been saying, okay, well, what's the game that's going to sell the Xbox Series X? Um, I mean, there are some third-party titles that are on multiple consoles as well. There are some first-party games as well, uh, but just everyone was just really excited about Halo Infinite and lining up with that release date of the new console. Microsoft was even quoted here saying, uh, Chris Lee remains a Microsoft employee, and while he has stepped back from Halo Infinite right now, we appreciate all he has done for the project to date. So this does mean that he wasn't like completely fired from Microsoft or anything like that, but he was moved to a different project, which you know could mean that essentially he was fired from you know Halo Infinite, but maybe he could still be part of Halo's development in some way, or maybe just move to a different uh, studio within Microsoft, especially since with the uh, acquisition of Bethesda and all the other new studios he can maybe just move over to there or something like that but this no now this is just like super concerning to me this is the third major uh producer on the team that has left halo infinite now we have chris lee we had tim longo who was the creative director and an executive producer mary olsen who left previously as well just soon after tim longo's departure as well so guys i'm just I'm just dumbfounded right now, um, especially with, you know, this seems like the recent news cycle for Halo Infinite has just been so negative right now with the armor coding situation where we're just, you know, got the primary secondary colors taken away from us for this armor coding system, which has paid ties to it as well, which is very concerning for me as well. But that kind of just stayed within the Halo community and we kind of quarreled over that pretty much. But this is something that, you know, everyone's going to be talking about. And it just seems like just another negative hit after negative hit. And I'm just really hoping to have some form of positivity come out. Even with the gameplay reveal, there was you know, kind of a mix up like, hey, 
it looks great i like what you're doing here but it just needs some extra work with this to make the game look as good as it should because obviously with it being a next gen title for how large the game is there was a lot of uh functionality engineering that issues that were going on with Halo Infinite from just the gameplay demo. So we had concerns from that. It seems like every time there's some new coming out, it's, yes, that's great to know that that's part of the game, but it's also really concerning because of everything else that goes in with that. It just makes us, you know, as Halo fans, you know, worried about this game. You know, this is supposed to be the game that's gonna be, you know, selling the Xbox Series X. This is supposed to be the game that was gonna revive the Halo franchise. This was supposed to be the game that was gonna be something that 343 was gonna give like almost like a special delivery to the fan base. It's something that we've been hungry for really ever since Halo 3. We've been waiting for a game that just be universally enjoyed by the community. And right now, guys, it's, Oh jeez! Oh my God! I don't know how to feel. I'm just so conflicted. I'm so worried right now. I'm still gonna be keeping up with the Halo content, guys. But Jesus Christ, I'm just so worried now with Chris Lee leaving. I was like, that, like I said, that's the captain just going. You know, guys, you guys can pilot the ship the rest of the way through. I'm like, no, you kind of need someone with a creative vision to kind of stick through the whole process to make sure everything stays in line. To me, this just feels like the consequence of Halo Infinite not hitting the deadline. And you know, deadlines are deadlines, and you know, you have to take in consideration uh, proper you know procedures when it comes to making sure you hit those deadlines and you know Halo Infinite didn't do that and I feel like this is the consequence of that happening. This is a shame because I actually really like the vision that Chris Lee has for Halo Infinite and maybe you know we're so far into development right now that you know maybe the ship is just on such high momentum right now that you know him leaving doesn't necessarily affect the uh, game development. This could really just be more like a consequence of just you know not meeting the deadlines and having someone else lead to kind of help maybe have better management of just uh, organization and better timelines and things like that rather than the game being itself being bad. So this could be more of a business change rather than a change of the game not being good either or something like that. So keep that in mind as well guys. But overall, yeah, I'm worried. I'm I'm big worried right now when it comes to Halo Infinite. I think we, we need a win. We need a W. Uh, it seems like everything we see about Halo Infinite for the last ever since July has just been negative. And so we need something good, guys. 343, you guys need to deliver something. Because uh, you need to, you know, change the storyline right now. Because right now, it's not good for you guys. I'm sorry. It's just not. So, you know, guys, if you like this kind of videos, make sure to tap the subscribe button. We'll keep you up to date with everything going on with Halo. Check out the videos on the screen right now if you miss any content from me. Uh, we've been uploading daily, you know. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.